Today is lesson 1.10, Construct Arguments. I can use pictures, numbers, and words to explain why my thinking and work are correct. I can also add and subtract within 20. Thinking Habits. How can I use math to explain why my work is correct? Is my explanation clear? Solve and Share. How can you use the Make a 10 strategy to find 7 plus 9? Explain your thinking and work. Use pictures, numbers, or words. So first we're going to look at the numbers 7 plus 9. 7 plus 9 is equal to the same as the 10 plus 6. Because I borrowed one of the numbers from 7 and made this a 10. And then I have 6 left over. And I know that that is equal 10 plus 6 to 16. So 7 plus 9 equals 16. And 10 plus 6 is equal to 16. So they're both correct. Let's turn our page and go to the next section. Sorry for the jiggle of the camera. On the next section, it says, does one more than six plus six have the same sum as six plus seven? Make a math argument. How can I make a math argument and show my work? I can use picture, words, or numbers to make a math argument to show my work. I can draw pictures and write equations. So six plus tw six equals 12. Here's my counters that show six plus six, and there's 12 of them. Now six plus six plus one more equals six plus seven. So here's my six plus six, my 12 counters, and I'm adding one more. Six plus six plus one equals 13. So six plus seven equals 13. Or I can use my words and numbers to make my math argument. My math argument is clear and makes sense. Six plus seven is just one more than six plus six. One more than six plus six equals 13. And six plus seven equals 13. Convince me, are both math arguments above clear and complete? Yes, they are. Both show that six plus six plus one and six plus seven have the same sum because they both equal 13. Let's write that down. Six plus six plus one and six plus seven Let's try it with the guided practice. Use the picture to help you solve the problem. Then use words and numbers to make a math argument. 
Is the sum nine plus five the same as the sum of 10 plus four? Let's think about that. Yes. I can move one counter up if I take this one and move it up here. That makes 10 plus four. So I can move a counter to make 10 so 9 plus 5 becomes 10 plus 4 And they both equal 14. 10 plus 4 is 14. Now you're going to stop your video and take your time to do your independent practice. When you're done with your independent practice, you'll watch the second video and do problem solving with the second video with me. Thank you.